You gotta bend them knees. All right, Molly. Oh, bend your knee. I said, bend your knee. Oh, I'm bend my knee. I couldn't interrupt that. Oh, I didn't even know we was live. I was <laughs> bending my knees. <laughs> All right. Let us get started. Oh, I see Lauren. I see Lauren. <laughs> we'll get started with Lauren Rosen. Lauren Hi, Rosen. How are you, Dwight? I'm groovy. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Um, Dwight, how good did it feel tonight to really be able to get cooking as like a much bigger group than what you've had over the last few nights? It seems like the first unit, the second unit, and the third unit all gelled pretty well. Just felt good to, to get a win tonight. You know, we, uh, uh, we gave up four games that, uh, you know, we really needed. Uh, but to get a good win tonight, you know, it really kind of, I think it calmed everyone's nerves, the fans, everyone, you know, I think we needed a great win tonight. You know, even though it's a team that's rebuilding, I think to, tonight was more so about us and our energy and effort. And we was able to play all three units tonight, which is great. Uh, we moved the ball well early in the game. We got out to a big lead and, you know, was able to work on some of our offensive schemes and also defensive schemes. So tonight was overall, overall good night for all of us. Franklin. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Lauren. We'll come back to you. Sorry. Hey, Dwight. Uh, I mean, I think this is the first time I've got a chance to watch you since you picked up your 15th set. The uh, main thing I want to ask you is do you feel like you're being targeted? I do feel like I'm being targeted um, every night. Uh, well, tonight was not was actually one night where I wasn't a target, so uh, I felt pretty good. I think I, just, I changed colognes. Uh, that pretty much helped tonight. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but, nah, you know, I have felt like I've been targeted. But, you know, I'm just going to continue to play as hard as I can. I want all the Philly fans to know that I'm out there giving 130% every night. The calls might not go my way. I might seem a little frustrated. But I'm out there to help this team win the championship. And, you know, sometimes the refs do give me some calls that I feel is unwarranted, even the technical fouls. You know, last game I got a tech and I just clapped. Uh, so, you know, some some things seem kind of crazy, but I have to realize uh, my position on this team and uh, what I need to do to help this team win. So I have to make sure that I hold myself accountable and do the right things. And, you know, I hate that I've gotten this many texts. It doesn't show my character and who I am as a person and a player. Uh, so I got to do a better job of that. But, you know, a lot of my texts have been just really quick, you know. And, you know, when I'm on the court, I'm passionate. You know, I want to win. You know, I came from old school basketball, so I like to talk trash. I like to hit people. I like to push people's hands down. It's, it's not like I'm doing it to be malicious, but it's, it's how I play. It's Philly basketball, so I can't help it. Quick follow-up. Do you feel like you have to change your style of play at all because of that? I feel like I have to be smarter, especially in the playoffs. I have to realize that I can't. You know, sometimes they catch the, the the tail end of a play of me moving somebody out the way or, you know, me saying things, you know, so I got to make sure that I keep my eyes on the prize, my mouth shut unless I'm talking to my teammates, and uh, we should win the games. Thank and if there's any refs listening, I love you. I apologize for whatever it was. Let's hug. Let's meditate. Let's bend our knees together. Back to Lauren Rosen. <laughs> that was awesome, Dwight. Dwight, I know that the three of you don't necessarily share tons of minutes together, but Doc just told us that Ben and Matisse are the two best defensive wings you've ever had play together. What do you admire about about the way that the two of them have started playing together? And I just, I just, I just love the fact that they understand the importance of playing aggressive, hard-nosed defense, physical. Uh, pressure in the defense. I love seeing that out of Matisse and Ben. You know, those guys are playing amazing on the wing, you know, and we need that going into the playoffs, having our wing and our perimeter players playing an excellent defense and funneling everything to Joel and myself in the paint. Uh, so I think it's great. Um, we got to continue to get tougher on the defensive end, continue to demand more out of everyone uh, on a defensive end. And also push ourselves because we know in the playoffs that what's, what's going to win us this championship is defense. Uh, so we got to be on our P's and Q's and get ready for what's ahead. Dwight, 
And last one, Mark Narducci. Mark. Hey, Joy, Joy uh, how are you doing? Um, I'm great. With the role that you've played this year and, and, mm -hmm. and maybe the last couple of years, was has it been difficult to transform into this type of player? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's very difficult. It's very difficult, but I understand that in order for me to continue to play in this league, I have to learn from those who came before me. You know, and there's a lot of guys who came before me who did not want to accept, you know, having to be in a position to where you're not getting those shots, you're not getting the minutes, you're not getting the touches and all the things that you, we're accustomed to getting, you know. So for myself, being, in, being on multiple teams where I've been that guy, you know, been able to get those shots and play those minutes, you know, for me it's just – Humbling myself, understanding that this is the role that I have to do for this team to win, and I can do that well. Just be a star in that role. And uh, if I do that, you know, we can win. You know, so I understand the importance of doing that. It's very difficult, though. Uh, but I want to win. This is why I'm here. And I want to show these young guys uh, through example that, you know, you can, you can be at the top and, and still have to play a role. You can be the best player on the team and still have to play a role. You can be the, the sixth man or coming off the bench and still be the best that you can be to help a team win. And I'm here to do whatever it takes. And uh, hopefully at the end of the year, we'll all be holding up that trophy. And uh, hopefully you can get you a ring too. We can all celebrate together. Okay, thanks. Yes, sir. Thanks, all right, y'all.